I'm Jeremiah Cornelius, a security architect with VMware, and I'm at RSA 2013 talking with Edmundo Costa, the CEO of Capital. You know, a lot of this audience is probably going to be familiar with what VMware is doing in terms of enabling a platform capability for security with our vCloud networking and security offerings. And I'd really like you to be able to talk to me a little bit about what Capbert's doing to create a compliance solution on top of this with this capability. Thanks, that's a great opportunity. I'll tell you, what we're all about is helping um, VMware deliver on that vision of software-defined security. So Capbert uh, offers a multi-function network security mechanism that is entirely architected around a software-defined data center. So so um, the, the product includes uh, sort of the core controls, uh, which one of the most important is vShield app. So we've done a very tight integration with the firewall uh, to enable us to not only uh, push the firewall rules, but also orchestrate that across multiple vShield managers, and then extract all the events out of the firewall so we can present that as part of our solution. Now, firewall is one small part of what Capper does. We've got a number of other controls, including intrusion detection, network access control, um, vulnerability management, uh, network, I mean, um, uh, configuration management. We put all these controls together and we then go through a process of um, actually detecting assets, enforcing a security policy, and then monitoring and measuring against the leading compliance standards. So one of the things that really sets us apart is that we've got a whole compliance enforcement mechanism against the leading standards like PCI, BIPA, FISMA, and and COVID. So the firewall controls that we get through VShield app integration really are now part of an overall measurement against the requirements for network security in the leading standards like PCI. So for example, firewall controls are uh, constitute two of the key requirements in PCI. We deliver 20 other requirements that are necessary for network security in the PCI uh, VSS 2.0 standard. So you can see how by putting firewall inside a broader network security solution and then measuring against the compliance standards, we're able to deliver a more complete solution for those customers that are attempting to meet the compliance requirements. So how would you describe the value of Capert's partnership with VMware and what it really delivers for the shared customer who's looking to build a virtual or cloud infrastructure? Absolutely. So, I mean, customers are migrating uh, data centers from physical to virtual and private cloud and in doing so they've got to maintain their compliance posture so they've got to ensure that those workloads meet whatever the compliance requirements are and so to do that they've got to have a broad set of network security controls we deliver the vShield app firewall controls alongside a host of other key network uh, security controls and we do so in the context of the compliance standards so we're able to help the customer automate the compliance process and that's very important for customers who are dealing with uh, a fairly complex uh, compliance requirement as they migrate these data centers. That's really interesting. Do you think that you could share one of the types of cases that would really typify how a Catbird customer on VMware ends up delivering this and enabling a full solution? Absolutely. Uh, one of the largest financial services uh, companies in the United States uh, is migrating their entire data center infrastructure to a VCE-based VMware environment and uh, they've got a myriad of compliance requirements beginning with PCI but including HIPAA and FISMA and uh, they've got to be able to ensure their management and their auditors that they can maintain compliance over the next three to five years as they migrate all of these workloads. We're talking about uh, you know, tens of thousands of virtual machines, uh, very large
large uh, uh, production environment that encompass uh, a wide range of workloads from payment systems to uh, healthcare applications. And uh, we're able to deliver with uh, VShield app the broad set of network security controls and, ma and maintain a real-time measurement against the compliance standards throughout the next uh, the process of migration. That sounds like a really fantastic win then uh, to allow the, v the, the vSphere infrastructure to support something that has really high compliance mixed trust workloads on what is a shared pool of resources then, which is the vision for that entry point into what would be a software defined data center. So that's really fantastic to hear. Absolutely. It's all about really delivering on the software defined security architecture of having uh, controls that are highly dynamic and that can adapt quickly to change and can do so all within a virtualized uh, context. We kind of know what to expect today from Catbird based on what you've said. What do you think is really coming then or what can you talk about Catbird delivering as VMware moves forward with vCloud networking and security as a component to really deliver that software-defined data center that I mentioned, in particular the software-defined networking component? Yeah, in fact, uh, you know, we're one of the very earliest adopters of the uh, NetX uh, uh, standard for uh, getting into the data path at a very low level uh, inside the VMware uh, architecture. And it's really, this the, the adoption of NetX is really key in developing some new capabilities around uh, controlling the network infrastructure in virtualized environments. So we're looking forward to uh, this summer being able to begin to announce some early uh, uh, availability of NetX-based uh, technology. And uh, uh, we think that uh, uh, there are other uh, interfaces that VMware is developing that will allow us to broaden the capabilities of our uh, software-defined solution uh, architecture. So we're, we're very excited about, uh, about leveraging the, uh, the development that VMware is doing around these uh, new interfaces. Great. I really look forward, actually, then, to your further announcements and debuting some of this stuff as we come forward with the coming year. Uh, I'd like to thank you for joining us here at the RSA Conference 2013.